Well, Waldenstrom's is a really interesting disease because um, it's a disease where there's been a lot of um, genetic analysis. So the reason why BTK inhibitors are attractive is because it has been shown that um, there is a mutation in a gene called MYD88 in 95% of patients with um, Waldenstrom's, and that provides a rationale for the BTK inhibitors. They basically inhibit that uh, pathway that's, that's basically activated by that mutation. Now, but what's interesting is that there are other uh, mutations that have been identified. One's called CXCR4. And um, we know that patients who have both MID88 and CXCR4 mutations don't do quite as well as those who don't have the CX4, CXCR4 mutations. And now there are some inhibitors of the CXCR pathway that are starting to enter into the clinic. So uh, you could conceive of a treatment down the road where you would add such an inhibitor, or particularly if in the patients who are, have these mutations of CXCR4. So I think that's a hot area in, in Waldenstrom, basically uh, tailoring your treatment more to the biologic uh, profile of the patient. And uh, so we'll, I think we're gonna see more of that.